Hello everyone, and welcome back to more Etrian Odyssey 4 Legends of the Titan. Between episodes, I mapped, I fully mapped out Miss Ravine B2F, but before we go on to B3F, there are a couple more quests to take care of at the Dancing Peacock. Slay the Illusionist and Slime Mold of the Gods. Slay the Illusionist comes first. The reward is a Brilliance Belt. I wonder what it is. I wonder what that is. This is a subjugation request for monster that appears on B2F of the Misty Ravine. Can I rely on you? As long as it isn't... As long as it isn't anything... As long as the monster isn't an illusion itself like the fog monster request was. I want you to subdue a spell-casting monster that has been seen in the so southern part of B2F center region. But the monster uses a strange spell which prevents all who have tried from approaching, let alone eliminating it. If you find a way to break this spell, you may have better luck than most. I shall await your swift return. Okay. I'm gonna go to the Mr. Ravine now. Alright, so... So the illusionist is on B2F of the Misty Ravine, as the bar owner said. Now where it is, exactly, you'll just have to wait and see. And we got to the, um, and we got down to B2F without a single random encounter. Now we go this way, no encounters in here, thankfully. This way is where the, um, is where the FOE we need to defeat is. While exploring the Misty Verdance, you spot the monster at the path's end and quickly ready your weapons. At the bar, you were told that the monster you seek to slay uses some sort of strange spell. This monster with a sneering, with a sneering glare must be your target. In order to fulfill the request, you must challenge the monster while not running afoul of its spell. Okay, I'm just gonna go fight it. As you try to cha cha charge the monster, its eyes begin to gleam with an eerie light. As you stare into those eyes, you momentarily lose all sense of direction. When you come to your senses, you realize that you are nowhere near the last place you remember being. It seems you were caught up with the en enemy spell. To fulfill the request, you must regroup and try again. Oh no, we are right next to the FOE that's probably going to murder us. That's, uh, yeah, that's bad. Um, bye. I don't want to... I don't want to screw with these guys, are you kidding me? Let us run, please! Yes! Let's go. Um, so Dylan, let's have him healing Gavin and me. And let's go back, let's go back in here to try and challenge the monster again. The monster is still standing before you. If you would engage the monster in combat, you must approach it without looking into its eerie glo eerily glowing eyes. How do you do that? Well, if you turn to the side, then press the R button. There you go. 
You ready your weapons and prepare to charge without looking into the monster's eyes. And we have the Dark Overseer. Just, we should try to just charge it with our strongest skills. Leg snipe, obviously. Nice. Oh. Luckily, Dylan has revived. Need I mention? Awesome battle theme. I'm dead. And uh, yeah, I fall a bit behind in experience, but oh, but that was kind of deserved. I was, I did have the most experience out of all of us for a time. After you have confirmed your kill, you sheath your weapons and breathe a sigh of relief. It appears that the method you improvised to avoid the monster's eyes was a viable one. The thing will no longer obstruct anyone's explorations. You should go and report your success at the bar, and I will do that right now. What, you thought I was going to say on the next episode? We're only seven minutes in! <laughs> we should, but we should, but first we should probably revive me and rest up. And once we turn in the quest, we can finally see what the Brilliance Belt does. I heard the details from some of my other Explorer patrons. Excellent work. Your skill is top-notch. I can only imagine the monster's bafflement to see you running backwards toward it. But that is a sort of flexible thinking prized in Explorers. Or maybe only in the BATG Guild. We obtained the Brilliant Belt. And got a crap load of experience. Now what does this Brilliant Belt thing do? It literally just gives you max TP and that's it. On second thought... But that lowers defense. Which one lowers the least defense? Least defense. Oh, the Brilliant Spell gives no... No defense at all. That uh, okay game. Okay game. Hmm? You know what? I'm gonna put the brilliant belt in place of the in place of these gloves. So I'm going to accept the other quest, Slime Mold of the Gods. Shining Slime Mold, blah, blah, blah. That one's from the Outland Count, whom you know. He wants you to find a glowing tree. Is there such a thing? Well, you can ask the Count himself for the details at the Grand Court. I shall await your swift return. I, uh, I honestly don't know where that would, where that would be. Let's go talk to him. I've been waiting for you, my friends. So you're the ones who took the request. 
I had a feeling you would. Now then, about this glowing tree. There's a rumor among you explorers that it is that it's been seen. The rumor among you explorers is that it's been seen in the Scarlet Pillars. Though I'm reasonably confident that the true reason for the glow is a shunning slime mode. It, it detaches itself to the tree and gives off a natural white light. I wonder if it has any medicinal use. I want you to find that glowing tree. Of course, we will collect and perform research upon the mold. Reports say it is to the northwest on first entering the Scarlet Pillars. Now go forth. For Tharsis. Okay, so to the northwest on first entering the Scarlet Pillars. Now, where would that be? So, um, while I'm searching, I'm gonna tell you guys a bit of a story. So yesterday, I went to get some birthday cards and flowers for my mom. It's, it's her birthday today, and, uh, we gotta show our appreciation for our mothers, you know? <laughs> um, first entering the Scarlet Pillars, so... Wait, what direction will be west? This, this seems about right. Let us run. Okay, that, that didn't kill her. Okay. Yes! Thank you, Dylan. Thank you very much. Is it... Is it on top? I'm just gonna go tell the Outland Count we need more information. Our eyewitnesses say it's in the northwest of the Scarlet Pillars. Probably somewhere in the C2 area. Hmm. Once there, hmm. When searching for a glowing white tree, you should go when the glow is easiest to see. So at night time! Yes! The day and night mechanic! Finally! We're putting it to use! Somewhere in the... C2 area. When the glow is easiest to see... Oh! While searching the land under a magnificent night sky, you look below and see a faint light. In closer inspection, you see a standing tree covered in an ethereal white light. You try and remember whether this is the tree whose position you are meant to mark and report to the Count. I'm just gonna say we found it. The count was not lying, it is indeed in the C2 area. Let's... C2. 
Right here. I see. And that is why I will send my scouts. Splendid news, my friend. The scouts did indeed find that shining slime mold within the white with the white glow. And sure enough, it's doing wonders for medicine and Tharsis. I should form a dedicated team to harvest it. Thank you once more for all of your hard work. The, re the reward is waiting for you already at the Dancing Peacock. Oh, wrong place. Let's turn in our quest. And the reward is a sleep guard, which... Oh my god, yes. I heard about your outing. That tonic made from the Shining Slime Mold will be available for free at the clinic. The Count truly puts his city first. Not many governors are as, be as benevolent as he is. He's quite exceptional. So many heads of state oppress their people and take advantage of them. But when he brings a request for the explorers to this establishment, it is with our interests at heart. To, th to that, I think he would say, That is the duty of the one who holds the power and purse strings, my friends. Wow, Curtita, I did not know you had such a good outlook count impression. I'm sorry, I did not know. I, I didn't actually know I did that. <laughs> anyway, sleep guard. And with that, Dylan and Dylan alone will level up. Because I died. And, <laughs> and let's give Dylan his first point in recovery. Which heals binds, like head binds, leg binds, and arm binds. That's useful. And now, let's save at the end. And check to see if any more requests have popped up since we completed those two. No, no, they have not. What was I expecting? I was expecting to, to not mess up button controls this much. Anyway, going back to the Misty Ravine, and I think it's time we go to B3F. So we're gonna start at B1F, obviously. I just realized it's still nighttime and the Misty Ravine looks beautiful at nighttime. And Great Lynxes have appeared. And they're immediately going to go after Antonio because... <laughs> because why not? Why not just immediately go after the main... After the main character responsible for critical hits? Why not just immediately go after the sniper? Great Lynx is going to attack me instead of Antonio. That's good. And with that, I'm going to level up. And let's get my skill point. What should I put it into? I want to... I want to use Trick Samba. But... I want to put another point in Trick Samba, but Sword Dance is pretty useful, so yeah. I'm putting my point into Sword Dance, and no one can stop me. And so we're going to go down into B2F. And use all the very, very handy shortcuts we found. To, to make our way through it, and go down to B3F. The door is through here, and the stairs are right here. 
and Mr. Ravine B3F, a duty that must be forsaken. After countless obstacles, you proceed with your search for the Monsieur Ravine. On reaching B3F, you are greeted with the smell of blood. You move forward cautiously. Ahead is a vessel woman whom you know well. And is Wufan, who had struck out alone to save the medium. The wounds on her body seem fresh, and you assume that she must have seen her share of combat en route. As you approach her, she slowly opens her eyes to gaze at you quietly. I have something for you. It's from the medium. Take it. With this, she hands you an old book. Hey, we got another, uh, burst skill. Almost forgot what those things are called. A hollow on the floor above said that I cannot be trusted with the medium. That I cannot protect her. It must have been one of their tricks, but their words cut to my heart nonetheless. I must confess. I was dimly aware of it myself. As such, I have been contemplating the factors that led to this crisis. I asked myself, why could I not stay calm when, where you were concerned? The answer was obvious. I envied you. Wufan confesses the dark thoughts she had harbored from seeing the medium respond better to you than her mentor. Wufan fears that she pushed the girl harder than she ought to act as a proper medium hurting her feelings. The medium's resulting emotional distress must have drawn the hollows from their underground dwelling. Wufan looks to you with a pained expression. You may think it opportunistic of me, but I have a favor to ask of you. In return, I will help you however I can once this is over. For that, Will you go rescue the medium? And once she is safe, take her with you. She can never be truly happy with us. The medium will no longer smile upon me. I have lost her trust. My voice will not be heard now. Wufan hangs her head. Her previous arrogance is gone entirely, and her slumped shoulders look very small. How I respond? I extend my hand, of course. Wufan gasps quietly. Are you asking me to come with you? I... She frowns. But her hesitation only lasts for a moment before the fire returns to her hands and she stands, staff in hand. As you wish. I will do my best to aid you, BATG. Wufan joins your party as a guest. A guest is basically like an additional party member. You can command them. But they will only join you on, like, certain floors, and they also do not gain experience, and you cannot change their equipment. And also, they can only stay in your party during specific dungeons. Like, in Wufan's case, she can only fight with us here on B3F of the Misty Ravine. Anyway, Wufan will be very, very useful for the upcoming boss. So, yeah. Huh? Where are you, FOE? Are you behind that wall? You are behind that wall! This game, this game gets to you, I swear. There is absolutely no way that this is not a horror game. Also, new enemy. The large bell. But I'm gonna take care of this hollow believer. And of course I'm gonna use Steel Arrow this time. And... And with a new party member comes new skills. These skills are from a class we have not unlocked yet, but we will be unlocking this class very, very soon. Basically, this class centers around circles that inflict status ailments on all enemies. I mean, they have a chance to inflict the status ailments on enemies every turn. For example, poison, 
paralysis, sleep, poison, darkness. Why do I keep calling it darkness? It's obviously blindness. Leg binding, arm binding, leg binding, head bind. Oh. She does not have head binding. She does not have head binding, it seems. She can also dismiss the circles to attack an enemy or heal us. In this case, I'm going to try to inflict paralysis. So, nerve circle. Nice! Holy Smite, Region Walt, Steady Hands, and of course, uh, Long Shot. And of course, oh, I think this is the first time we've heard this part of the battle theme in game before. Sorry, I just like to listen to the music in games. Let's see if, um... Oh! You hit hard! Luckily we're, we're, we're good. And we'll be saved slightly because we have, um, patch up. Once again, I'm sorry, I will sing Patch Up's praises all day and night because it's just that good a passive. Just be sure to keep your healer alive because if your healer is not alive, Patch Up cannot activate. And, oh wait, we already got Dylan's skill point. Lily, let's uh, give her, oh. Useful, useful, useful skill, Swordbreaker. What Swordbreaker basically does is that it gives you a chance, it's, it's a passive skill. It gives you a chance to have, have a physical attack's power on your line. So basically, if, a, if an attack's gonna do 100 damage per se, and it attacks, say, me, Swordbreaker may activate, and it could do... 50 instead. Useful. And of course, the chance only gets bigger as the as the skill is leveled up. Gavin can get Hardy Chef, which increases vitality gains from cooked food. I'm not sure how useful this could be because I barely ever use food in this game, but... Also, Wufan is level 28. I am lagging behind in the levels. Damn. And, um...
Oh. Wufan does have head binding. It's hood circle. I thought that was blindness. Anyway, we're we're gonna go this way. Oh, I know this area. This is ah! Luckily, that FOE only stays on that line. So as long as we're there, we're as long so as long as we're over here, we're safe. You know what? I'm gonna run away from you guys because I just don't want to bother. Really? Really? I mean, luckily we have reviving, but come on. This game can be super bullshit at times. Also, for the purposes of game overs, Wufan does not count as a party member. So if we so if we all die and she's still alive, it's still game over. My do we have to defeat you? Do we have to defeat you? My god, this game sometimes. Jeez. Oh! That was, a uh, That was, a uh, sword dance just activated, and I attacked twice in a single turn. Nice. Keep using leg snipes. I attacked twice in a single turn and both attacks missed. Are you kidding me? Headbind? Yes! I, I guess that doesn't matter anyway because it's dead. So that's nice. I forget to mention, this game can suck major ass sometimes. I just don't want to deal with these large bills. See why? It's a good thing we have revival, but Dylan is running out of TP and, uh, um... Okay, so uh, we are out of TP, and uh, we only have one Medica 2. Is this how you're supposed to do it? You, you, you go this way? My god, not you again. I do not have TP enough to heal.
Don't you dare! Oh, phew, I escaped. Madness. That's all this game is, is madness. Oh, no! Not kill me. Is there anything useful in here? Nope, just more stupid dungeon. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna go back to town. You part with Wufon at the at, at the exit from B3F of the Misty Ravine. When you return, you have no doubt that she will be waiting, ready to fight by your side again. You may find her in the room down the stairs if you wish to ask her to rejoin your party. Do we have enough money to revive all of us and stay at the end? We so do. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!